Hello everybody, this is Andrea Tonella from the Geo Paparazzi Project. Um, this is the second part of a short series of videos in which I'm going to show you uh, the upcoming feature or changes of Geo Paparazzi uh, 4. What will be Geo Paparazzi 4? The other video is showing um, how we pass from a folder based project structure to a single file project, which you can then open directly from the file browser for example Just like this and that you see the project info inside here the database clicked and some information metadata you can add to the project but this in this video here I just simply want to show you uh, the real big feature that came that is coming with Java Variety 4, which is editing of polygons. I think a lot of people have been waiting for that, and we have to all thank the Research Foundation for the State University of New York, and most probably under the name of Tim Howard, which joined the community, and then at some point they made us a proposal and sponsored the development of the whole uh, polygon editing part. So what does this really mean? In this case, I just loaded two, two layers of polygons. So these red ones and these blue ones. And if I long tap on the tools button, I will get a list of editable layers. Those in orange will be the visible layers. If I had other layers, not visible at the moment they would be green and not clickable but here in this case the polygon which is the red layer if I select it it will be red and this means I can edit one layer has been selected for editing so if I just click on the tool button I will get a list of tools Maybe the most important is the selection tool. So I can just start by selecting a couple of features. Once they are selected, here I get to the undo button or the back button. Uh, yeah, one, one thing that should be clear is once the tools are enabled, I can't use the back button anymore. So if you get in panic, you have to first switch off the tools. So once the tool, something is selected, a couple of features are selected, there are a few things I can do. And what we try to do is really to have always a preview when I do something. For example, this here is going to do uh, a removal of feature. So if I click on this, the features that would be removed will get gray as a preview and the commit button. Has appeared so if I now select this it will save the changes to this and will completely remove the features else if I go back it will go back to the state where they are selected if they are selected I can use this button to browse their attributes so this opens up the feature view uh, feature view view and in here you can see the table, the features lie inside the database, how many features were selected and you can swipe back and forth for the features. And these features here have just one single attribute which is the description. And we add an, a couple of attributes that are uh, taken from the geometry itself even if they are not in the attribute table and area and length the parameter uh, they are taken in the uh, original projection of the database so if you have uh, meters like in this case this would be square meters and meters okay in this view here I can really also change things so let's maybe to be a bit more clear enable labels in these layers for both let's say okay 
description is the only proposed attribute since it's the only one and yeah okay so let's again select those ones and go into the feature attributes view and I can say let's say at some point Oh, okay, the, the delete button doesn't work as it should. Very strange, but it's working. So this building now is finished. If I save it, it will change it automatically in the spatial light. Okay, so let's see also. Let's say I want to... Hmm. Before I remove stuff, uh, I'm going to show you how I can copy stuff. So if I select one, this is the last button I was missing. I can also say, please copy this feature to another layer. Let's say to the blue layer. In this case now, you will see that it's a bit different. And since we are on the red layer, we can simply delete we go in preview mode and then we just do it like that and in this case now it had copied over the feature why doesn't this feature show any name because any label because when features are copied over there is not a lot of check that's being done you can copy over stuff it just needs to be some polygon layer and so there is no check on the attribute table and only the geometry is copied over which means that when we copy uh, a feature to another layer only the geometry is extracted and inserted into a completely new feature so this is simply let's change editing layer to the multi polygons layer like this and this is simply due to the fact that this had no name because it was newly <coughs> excuse me it was new all right excuse me I had to drink a glass of water I was kind of dying down here so as I was saying um, when you copy over a feature, only geometry is copied, so that's quite clear. So we are now in the blue editing layer. What I would like to show you now is how you would create a new feature. So which is the next button you find here. And you have a couple of ways for creating new features. Um, the first is, let's say, the first is GPS based. So once you push this button, if your GPS is on, it will stream points directly to create a polygon. So right now I have no GPS, I'm indoor and I have no demo updated, but it will simply, every time a GPS point comes in, it will add it to the polygon. The second one will add a point always in the crosshair in the center of the screen. This can be quite handy if you have very precise things to do. The other way is, and I think it's the most, probably most used on tablets, but it will only work on your visible screen is by simply tapping. So if I turn this on, it will be very, very quick to create polygons, right? Oops. At any time, you can go back as much as you want. 
and then work on. So once you have what you like, you simply push the save button and turn this off. I will have my new polygon. So this is quite quite simple to do. <clears throat> and there are another couple of tools up here which can be used for editing polygons. What do I mean by that? Let me show you by example, which is the simplest thing to do. Let's say here, <clears throat> I didn't like, for example, this piece to be added. So I can do something like this. And I save this, but I also don't like this holes in here. Save it, save it, create a new polygon down here, and save it. <clears throat> okay, so what I can do with these tools, the first one, I can remove pieces of polygons. So it's quite simple to use. You select the tool, then you first click or tap on the polygon you want to keep and of which you want to also keep the attributes table. And then you move, you drag on the geometry, on the feature you want to remove. So for example, you can do something like this. And it will again show you a preview so you can see this polygon has been subtracted from the large one. So this piece here will be removed. If I push here, this is what's going to happen. And it's quite simple also to do it here on the holes. And again on the other holes. And you just save. This is quite simple, I would say. And the same applies to the case in which I, for example, would like to fill a hole or extend, let's say, undo this, let's make it really simple, extend a geometry. So I select this tool here and I simply first the part that needs to be extended and of which I want to keep the attributes table. It's just the path in the middle doesn't really matter. What matters here is where you end up. So starting point and end point are only ones that matter. So we now have a single feature. So I think this is quite nice. It, it comes out of a couple of chats with Tim and his team and I think it's really nice thing to have. So I think this is kind of all related to the polygon editing. There is um, one tool because there was an info tool for spatial light um, layers. This selection tool works only on the currently edited layer. Whereas this one, which gets enabled also if no editing layer is defined, is like this one, it will pick any from any layer features from any layer. So we have it from this multi polygons layer and then also from the polygons layer. Alright. Okay, I think that's quite all. So if you have some questions and uh, you can just join the mailing list and for sure you could also thank Tim Howard and his team at the Research Foundation for the State University of New York for sponsoring this part for Geo Paparazzi, which has been, I think, a long way. Thank you very much. See ya.